Mm. Okay, so last thing is a pulse reading. All right. Okay, this is, a, this is an Ayurvedic pulse reading, right? Traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine. It's from India and China. Thousands of euros old. Um, they use a three-point system like this. And uh, each point has a superficial and a deep on both sides. So six points each arm uh, is 12 organs and uh, in traditional Chinese medicine, organ systems. In Western, uh, in Western medicine, they just use this as a measure of the rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude and uh, cardiovascular system measurement. But in Ayurvedic medicine, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, these all have different corresponding organs. So on the right side, on the superficial, it goes large intestine, stomach, and the adrenal glands and thyroid. And then on the deeper level, it goes lung, spleen, and organs of reproduction. Okay, so I'm gonna sink into this pulse here. Very steady, very consistent, uh, especially large intestine feels good. I'm not getting anything from the stomach. Now you're, you are definitely an active person. You are, you have a very, st like your adrenal gland thyroid pulse here is strong. I think it's part of your, your constitution. So we'll get to the constitution in a second here. Um, well, how's your energy level? Do you have fatigue ever? Um, yeah. Do you... <laughs> I just keep going. Yeah. I'm in nursing school too, so, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly on the go. <laughs> oh my God, I knew it. I, it was so great. I, okay, okay. Doesn't matter, unless you say it beforehand. You know how easy it is to be like, I was gonna say that? Yeah. But like, but really what's happening is that like, people's intuition are so close, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you can feel someone about to say it. Yeah. And it's like, so it's like, you thought that you were gonna say it, but really you were just intuiting what they were about to say. We'll find it, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the deeper layer. Um, are you on a uh, uh, birth control right now? No, I got off. How long ago? Um, like, mm, it's beginning of summer. Okay, so you've had a couple months. Is the, is the, are you cyclical? Are you balanced? Um, kind of getting there. Uh, is it, uh, uh, do you have heavier periods? Yeah, now I do. Okay, you just give it some time to balance out. I'm not getting anything, like, particular. And so, like, this, the, the adrenal gland, when I was like, you have a strong pulse here, mm -hmm. on the adrenal, it's the same pulse as the deeper layer. And so you have similar characteristics within that pulse because they're both known as the, um, kapha pulse. So you have Vata, Pitta, Kapha. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but that's okay. It takes time. It takes maybe like six cycles sometimes before you really uh, uh, get back in tune. Uh, my suggestion is to is to to study the moon. Yeah, to to follow the moon to like kind of know where the moon is in her cycle, and uh, and compare it to your cycle because. Uh, it's a 28 day full moon cycle. It's a full moon every 28 days. Just like there's a period every 28 days yeah. menstruation. And so before the advent of like artificial lighting and things like that, you know, everyone in the village, all the women would all, they would all bleed at the same time. There's a really good book about this called The Red Tent. Interesting. About, about menstrual cycles, yeah. But anyway, the whole point is, is that like, it's based off of, it's not based off of, but it's influenced by the moon. Yeah. And so by communicating with the moon, you communicate with that, that deeper part of you, you know, yeah. mammals have been around for 65 million years. So it's like <laughs> you're communicating with a 65 million year old, um, piece of knowledge. Yeah. Technology really. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you like the lung? You don't have any lung issues? No asthma? Mm-mm. 
No, you're too athletic. <laughs> so it's so I get like some personal story from that too. Like with your parents, you know, you have like you you're like your dad is mixed. Mm-hmm. But it feels like it's part of your story. It like is. just like being generationally aware. Yeah. So it's like a it, yeah, and then you have that we'll call it that slight discolor not even discolorization because it's that that asymmetrical color on your on your low back. So yeah, that so your, different. That your family, like you know, your sister. So, um, and, and healers, a lot of times they fall into that generational, like karmic lineage, very akashic record. Um, you know, lifetimes, lifetimes of karma. It's because healers are just. We just come here to do the, the same yeah. thing over and over and over again. Seriously. And then no other... So you did mention not drinking enough water before. That's because I'm in clinicals and I'm in like 12 hour clinical days and we get no breaks. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, so... He, okay, very good. Good awareness. <laughs> Okay, going down to the deep layer, kidney, liver, heart. Okay, you feel very strong here. Most of your pulse, uh, not most, your pulse feels very strong, very consistent, mostly symmetrical from left to right. No other issues there, kidneys, heart, lung, right? You don't have any issues there? No. Okay, so the other part of this reading is the constitutional reading. Uh, the constitutional, like, everyone's born in a certain way, you know what I mean? You look mm -hmm. around, you just see, like, people who are thin, and you see people who are muscular, you see people who, um, have more fat disposition. It's like, it's like the, it's like your player that you were given, your, your, yeah. your meat soup. Uh, and so in, in Ayurvedic medicine, TCM has this too, but there's these things called vata pitta kapha. And so, like, I'm a vata. It's just difficult for me to gain weight no matter, no matter how much I eat mm. or work out. And then there's pitta. Pitta is, they're extremely muscular. Um, it's easy for them to gain muscle. Uh, they could also lose muscle pretty fast, too. Um, but, they, but they also could gain fat. And then there's kapha. And then kapha is, it's, it's easy to gain fat, and uh and more difficult to lose it and so and there are different there are many many different types of characteristics There's also psychological characteristics and you know people who are pitta you know you'll see a lot of people in law enforcement who are pittas you know you're you're right now and also too um so like healthcare <clears throat> healthcare is is traditionally a kapha things you go into a hospital you see a bunch of kaphas running around uh, with an occasional vata thrown in, but like so, like you, you, you're very close to between pitta and kapha. You know what I mean? The, when as you work out, you are lighting the fire of pitta. They're all made up of elements. So vata is air and ether. Pitta is fire and water, and kapha is earth and water. And so, like when you and and we all have all three, and it's just they're balanced differently in everybody. And so you're pretty close. Your pitta and kapha is pretty close. And, and like the working out every day and the, um, and the, and the, uh, and the flight attendant, those are very pitta things to do for sure. And, but then like nursing is a very kapha thing. So it's like, it's pretty interesting to see how these two things are split for you. And so, um, you're also moving into the pitta form of your life right now, like the pitta part of like, when you're in your mid twenties to, mm, to really like your mid forties, like, and like a little bit before, a little bit after, like it's the most, it's the most pitta time of your life. It's time when you're supposed to work hard, move around a lot and make things happen. Yeah. And so, so you're doing good there. You're, you, you have to just keep on it. But like, I, I can tell that there's like, you're, so the, the healer is always the uh, the archetype of the wounded healer, like the 
or we have stuff that we're working on ourselves and working on other people helps us to work on those things ourselves. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. And so like you already know what I'm talking about. And so we don't have to let the internet know about it. (laughs) But the most important thing is that you know and that I'm reflecting on it and that I'm just a mirror and I'm reflecting back and I'm saying that, you know, that stuff is, it's good. It's not even, it's not just okay. It's not, it's just, it's literally good to have things to work on and to grow because nobody in this lifetime, (laughs) nobody is perfect or has a perfect life. And we're all working through our own as well as helping each other work through and like and then there's good time there's times where we can you know where we take a break from that or from all the working and and we and we can enjoy life because we're not here just to work on shit but like this is also an extremely blissful place to be alive and uh and so like it's just a little mix of both where it's like breathe in breathe out you know it's like breathe in this feels really good and then it's just like back to work yeah and we're just going we're just in this cycle and like you so know, true yeah forward and back okay good so you're really keyed into this kind of stuff like innately mm-hmm. you have a, a good grasp of more than just the physical reality obviously yeah good what's that say that says 11 11 <laughs> <laughs> that's my anniversary with my girlfriend really yeah okay You just have to let your defenses down every now and then, Marissa. Uh, you're, you're guarded. And I get it. I know why you're guarded. And that's and you just have to in this world sometimes. Especially, you know, you're in the public all the time. You are working with people all the time in an industry where, <laughs> you know, you just have to deal with people. Um, you know, people are polite. But then they're not, too. Yeah. And so it takes a lot out of you when you are when you work with that many people all the time. You know, I know, you just, you walk down the aisle and you're like, what can I, you know, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? All those people on the plane, you're responsible for all of them. That takes a lot. So you're just kind of like, in this space, it's almost like you're training now. Because you're just going to go into the same thing again. More taking care of people. But for, for however difficult it is, and however long your days seem, you should know that you were built for it. You were made for that. It's your purpose. I cannot believe that you can just lay here and take this on the maximum setting like it's nothing. <laughs> it feels good, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to feel a lot better. It feels great. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. Thank you so much. My pleasure. That's why I'm here.